So Trevor and I are out here at BSP's amazing event. Off-duty police officer, yes. got hit on his bike, injured up pretty bad, was out of work for a long time. So Brandon and the BSP staff put on this great event. All the proceeds are going to him and his family. So they're gonna be giving away some awards. Yeah. Some guns, some really some cool- guns. Yeah, they're giving away oh some guns. Oh my gosh, I gotta win a gun. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> So we're gonna walk around and we're gonna show you guys the cars and then we'll just kind of pick our favorite cars out and uh, kind of walk around them and show you everything about them. So let's get going. So you guys know the 1LE is here, but we're gonna skip that for now and we're gonna go straight to this Z06. This is one I did at my shop. Really? This car has almost 100,000 miles on it. What? 100, like, I believe he's at like 98,000 miles. Holy cow. Before we did the work on it, it was basically matte yellow because it had been machine washed so heavily. So <laughs> it's about as good as I could possibly get. You can get, get. it. Like, okay. There's only so far you can push this factory paint, but it's a LG Motorsports car. So, it's so is a, that a LG wing? LG wing. Okay. Um, chassis mounted, so it goes down into the frame. Nice. And then this thing is ridiculous loud. Uh, yeah. Built 427, Corsa exhaust, ridiculously loud, like yeah, stage four cam. It's right. got some Toyos on there. Yeah. R888s yeah, or, yep, yep. R888s. All right, moving on, another Z06. This one you guys have seen on the channel a couple of times. This is uh, Trevor's. And Let's get out of the sun. That way you guys can actually see it. But this thing has carbon fiber everywhere. Anywhere you can put carbon fiber, it's got it on there. Even the uh, brake inlets up front here are in carbon fiber. Yeah, APR hooked me up on that. So thank you, That's APR. Awesome, for me. <laughs> and then he's got forge light wheels and he's got the best looking forge light wheels I've ever seen. Probably the most custom ones. In my thing. life. Right? Oh yeah, probably. I, mean, I haven't I seen, seen anybody with custom like that. Uh -uh. And the caliper to match yeah, the, and the I mean, we Exactly, we the caliper's purple. We tried to even, get it all right. Even did the Z06 right here on the side in purple. Pretty soon you might see some more purple. And then we have the ridiculous wide body <laughs> C6. Yeah, the Frankenstein car. Trevor also owns this one. And you guys have seen this in a couple of videos as well. This is a fully built 427. Correct. As well. Probably right around what? 650 to the... So it makes 707 at the crank. So oh. because this is an automatic, you lose a whole lot of oh. trade loss. So it's about 530 to 570 at the wheel. Okay. Still ridiculous. Yeah, still a lot of fun. It's technically Lauren's car. Right, so. right. His wife's car. It's the but I love car, this, it's not a race car. I love this gigantic rear wing, and my favorite part about it is the stars and stripes on the side right here. I actually got to design that. It's so awesome. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. But yeah, this thing just sticks out out of any other Corvette out there. This thing is gonna stick out in the crowd. It sounds ridiculous, it looks ridiculous. Great job, man. It's Thank also you. super shiny. Yeah. Love it. I made that car on the Need for Speed Heat video game. <laughs> and then I was like, all right, let's go do Isn't it. Isn't that awesome how that works? Yeah. 
I mean, Super technically, fun. Captain America came from Forza Motorsports. Yep, I remember seeing that on there. Yeah. I'd still get it on there. Yep, and then we got uh, another Supra just pulled up. Cut. Yeah. A couple of Supras. Hop on in here, brother. We got a silver or gray, whatever you want to call that. And then a beautiful blue. This is almost like, this is pretty much like rapid blue. What do you think, rapid blue? Yeah, it's got all that metallic in it too. It looks <laughs> really good. And then looks like we got another 1LE here. This one has a few more modifications to it. I actually really like this wicker spoiler back here. Yep. Looks really good and it looks like it's got exhaust as well. Tasteful. Yep, that's a good looking uh, 1LE. Very nice. And then we come to a Viper. The Viper is- Favorite uh, car. Yeah, this car is amazing. So it was one of my very first poster cars. Oh yeah. You remember the red one with the yellow wheels? The Gen 1? Yes. Yeah, the iconic poster car. Yes. That was the first poster I ever bought. Yeah, man. I love these cars. This is a GTS. So yeah. Then we got a C8 here. Did you see the uh, the X-Brace? I did. The X -brace. It does have an X-Brace on there. Well, and check it like, out, it's the snake pad. Oh my gosh. That's sick. All right, we got a C8 here. This is a shadow gray metallic. Very pretty. I like his patriotism here with the American flags. Ooh, GT2 seats, right? Yeah, GT2 seats with the suede inserts. It's a good Very interior. nice. And he's representing BSP. Amazing. And then what do you think about this uh, pickup? Love it. It is so beautiful. That right, paint. Right, right, red, man. Just oh, glistens and gleams. Look at the, yeah, the wood in the bed. It's my first time ever seeing color matched uh, the rails. Because they usually do the, they yeah, do yeah. the chrome. Yeah. That looks yeah, great. Yeah, this thing is beautiful. Custom interior. Yeah. Wow. 1965 C10. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, this thing is beautiful. It's probably a 350 in there. That is super nice. Oh yeah. All right, looks like we have a pro-charged C6. C6 with the LS2. Yep, there's that pro charger. P1. So I bet it's making at least 600 at the wheel. Yeah, probably. That's pretty. Super nice. Heck yeah. All right, we've got uh, Brandon's Evo 9. It's either a nine or a 10. I think he just told me it's a nine. Yeah, Evo 9. Yeah, yep. yeah. 2006. So, yeah, this thing is awesome. He bought it brand spanking yeah. new. He told me he paid 35,000 for it. And this thing makes all the power. Oh yeah. Yeah. He said right around 600 wheel. Yeah. Or crank. Crank. I think it's 600 crank, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, I love it. And it's like a grayish color. It's really, really pretty. And then the one next to it almost looks purple. Yeah, that's Gwen's. They've done a lot of the Ooh. work on this, on her car. This car has been painted, uh, just got done getting repainted, got front end clear bra, ceramic coating. And look, it's an MR. Yeah, these are, that's a beast. cool shifter too super nice yeah yeah so yeah that's what his and Brandon said no like. AC yeah I know he told me yesterday <laughs> like, he's yeah. like I made the mistake of taking the AC out of it because it's not a daily driver right he's, he's a real, like real race car guy now I'm like why did I take the yeah. AC out so crazy look at that that is awesome I like the titanium oh, oh yeah it's clear Oh, wow, you can see that's gears. really cool, yeah. That's super cool. That's awesome. Quite the diversity out here. We've got another Camaro. This is Chelsea's. Chelsea's. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is an LT1. Or no, it's an SS, that's right. B6. 
beautiful manual wrench. car manual car yeah Women owned and driven that's right e85 yeah she races the hell out yeah of it. yeah she's in mexico all the time yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great car chelsea looks amazing i'm sure it's very very fast as well and this guy says he's got a fake evo <laughs> <laughs> I think this is her boyfriend, Chances. Oh, okay. So that's cool. There's Chelsea right there. And a little Miata. That's a Starks Manager's. All right. Oh, okay. These things are With cool. With a nitrous kit? It's like a case of the horse block. I didn't know all that. Oh, gosh. And then the blue Mustang is also a blue Nice. Okay. Thanks, Chelsea. He's got all the family. Yeah, he's got like everything in here for racing these things are the best race cars because they're super light they're super cheap you it's you never rule cool, uh looks like s2000 yeah it kind of does got some carbon in there this is a nice mustang i like the wheels a lot yeah yeah very cool and this mustang is beautiful it's yeah, like we a, got a nice turbo on there oh wow yeah Yeah, I wonder what uh, kind of power that thing makes. Harness bar. But my favorite part about it is the color. Yeah, I like the color I too. I love that color. It's almost like a Tiffany. Yeah. And guys, check this out. We've got an old Chevrolet here and it's got... Car hop style. Yeah. Oh, it's an Oldsmobile. Super Rocket. Check that out. That is really cool. For all you guys out there that love the old cars. I love, I love it. it. It's awesome. Why wouldn't I like it? I haven't voted. <laughs> Great car, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the little curb checks. I know, checkers. I love the curb checks. Yeah, for curbs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love how the interior matches the exterior. That is so cool. Oh, nice. And we got a Challenger here. Looks like it's a scat pack. What do they call these things? The uh, shaker hood. Shaker hood, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's a cool uh, design. Too hot for you. Yeah. They've got on that. Bond care guy coming. Cool. Nice wheels. Brakes. Yeah. That's good work. That is loud. Sounds great. So yeah, the Plymouth Prowler is definitely a really cool looking car, but they should have put a V8 in it. And then we've got these two LX50. Well, that one says 60. I don't know what's yeah. up with that, but LX50s. They are both supercharged. And I believe the color is called like Calypso Green. Okay. I believe is what it is. Calypso Green. I love it. Man, when I lived in Michigan, the state troopers had these as their oh man squad cars. Yeah. LX50. They look just like this on there. They were painted dark blue and had the yellow Michigan. That's super cool. Yeah, it's super awesome. Definitely not running from those guys. Oh no. I love one thing about these old Mustangs is these long straight pipes. Always oh, my, my amazing. Yeah, it's super sick. Yeah. Let me show you the uh engine bays here big old pro charger on there yeah sweet sick and then this is like a burgundy uh 50 and this is a gt i really like this color i do too looks like they've done some bolt-ons here as well yeah in a car <laughs> look at this car 
a Volkswagen van. Man, these things look so tiny up in person. This would be so fun to drive. It would be, man. It's the shagging wagon, <laughs> you know? <laughs> the color is super cool. Yeah. This is like a pimp my ride yeah. car. It should have like a drop down 50 inch TV or something. It looks it. like it weighs about 500 pounds. Yeah. Really? Uh, okay. Ah, <laughs> so this is not a Volkswagen. All right. Guys, if you don't like the IROC Z, come on. This car was like the best car in the 80s. I remember, Tuned port injection. Dude, I remember growing up next to a dental office and the wife of the dentist had one of these and I was always like, oh my gosh, look at the IROC Z. I always liked the white with the blue stripe. Oh yeah. Like, that's the, the iconic one. Yeah, too. yeah. The only problem is this is an auto. Oh, there you go, look at there. Oh, wow. Very nice ZL1. It's got the 1LE wing. That's rapid blue too. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, a long bed with patina. <laughs> Shaved this door. Truck is awesome. Man, that engine bay is gigantic. And look how far. Oh my gosh, that's like rubbing on the edge there. Wow. Sheesh. Slammed. Yeah, it's slammed for sure. Oh, you got the tank back here, and it looks like he used to have, or that might be able to get to the rear end, but. Right. I was thinking that uh, they had a gooseneck, you know. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's right exactly what they had. This used to tow big old trailers, and that's now it's a slam. Cool, though. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Big, big fan of this Bronco, though. Oh, of course. And it's probably not cheap. No. Yeah, that's an original right there. Beautiful color. Heck yeah. That is beautiful. Trevor's a little biased. He has his own Bronco. <laughs> but this thing is awesome. These things go for big money now. Oh yeah. These original ones like this, I mean. It looks so short. Right. But it's very, very cool. All right, what do we have here? Is this a Fiat? Fiat 1800. Pretty much the same color as that Bronco. That's really cool. I think I've seen this one before. That Fiat badge on the side reminds me of uh, Pina Farina. Oh yeah? You know, the Ferrari uh, designer, Pina yeah, Farina. Yeah. All right, here's the old, old RT10. What year is this? A 95. 95, okay. Yep, this is one of the uh, original Vipers. I think 93 is when they came out. Those are the iconic yep. wheels right there. Iconic everything. The side pipes. Yeah, <laughs> that will absolutely torch your leg. Oh yeah. <laughs> And then next up, we got a Maserati. Not much to see under here. Everything's pretty much covered up, but that does look pretty cool. Ferrari California motor. Right, yeah. exactly. Oh, we got another IROC Z. Very cool. Ruby is her name. Then a forerunner, all jacked up and lifted. I like this El Camino. This is a, oh yeah, and this is a SL500, I think. Big old motor, look at that. Sucker. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Wow. That's all motor. That is crazy looking. I don't think I've ever seen Oh, it's a V12, one. that's why. Oh, that's not an SL500. Jeez. SL 600. All right. So this was the big dog back This the was day. the big dog. <laughs> yeah, this red El Camino is really cool. Oh. 
super cool. Yeah, I agree. Her shifter in there. Yep, with a 409. Turbo fire. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I. And then we've got a 68, I think. Yep, 68, 68 you're correct. 68, okay. Camaro. Perfect color. Yeah, this thing is awesome. Love the gray. I've always loved the old Camaros. I wish, the they would just do, I wish they would just do a limited run of them. Yeah, you it'd know, be awesome. They still have the bodies. That's right. You know, why not just charge a premium? And yeah. Do a one year only. For sure. With all new interior stuff. So should we show the Jeeps? Yeah, these people are crazy, so I mean, why not give them some love? Oh, there's Scott. Oh, nice. He, he's the one that won the shirt last week. Oh, cool. Yeah. What's up, Scott? He's got a really cool uh, Stingray. He's the C3 guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the C3 guy. Yep. Check it out. What's up, man? How are you? Let's we'll see if I can grab this spot for the tree. Do it. Absolutely. All right, so we've got uh, a Jeep few Gladiator. Jeeps. Yep. You Maggie. To, you have to appreciate the Jeep community because oh, yeah. how crazy they Well, go you got to love all the purple on yeah, this car. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Those are cool headlights. Wave. Like the American flag. Wave, damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. I was about to say, where are all the ducks? And I see a couple here, yeah. but look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> I've never gotten that. Yep. Something to make you smile. Yeah, okay. Back the blue, Definitely I love does. that. Big bird and then a lot of ducks. Sheesh. Kryptonite. She Devil. This one's really cool. I love the color. And then putting the pink with that color is, I think, a great idea. <laughs> Kryptonite. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Yeah, that's do you think we could talk Little Elm Police into letting us do a review on I that think sucker? we should. I think we should do a review on this for sure. Gee. Look at the size of that bad boy. That's what you want if uh, God, zombies man. come out. You're going to want to be driving this thing. Right? Just bulldoze them over with this front bumper. The international. Jeez. Out of your house. Yeah. Coming in the living room. <laughs> yeah, we're coming in. By the way, this is Brandon with BSP. You guys have seen him on the channel. So thank you so much for putting this on. It's awesome. And uh, we're, we're privileged to be able to have the opportunity to do it. And uh, and thank you everybody for their support as well. Yeah. So we're all no problem. We're, we're happy to come out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this thing is massive. I got a. I gotta be way back here just to get it in frame. Sheesh. 85 tall tire. Good gosh. Yeah. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you again for coming out. So first off, we have domestic. The winner for the domestic class is Lauren Schrieger. Yeah. Uh, Corvette. 2009 Corvette. Yeah. All right, next up we have the import class, which is Chris Hart, the 1996 Subaru Sambar DS. All right, so for our classic class, this was really close, but our winner for it is Brian Ward with the Bronco. I think it was a 68. Next up, we have our best late model, which is Trevor Stringer. Oh. 
Heck yeah, Trevor. These triggers are taking over the Corvette class, obviously. All right, we have our best bike, which is number 19, or 13, Tim Stab with the Aprilia. Next up, we have our best off-road, and that is going to go to Katie Hoffa with the Hulk. Alrighty, and then we do have just a shop reward. Uh, again, we are BSP Motorsports. We are the ones who work with Little Elm Police Officers Association to put this on to bring all of y'all out here, show y'all some cool cars, and just bring some things that maybe Little Elm doesn't see all the time. So we do highly appreciate all of y'all's support, so make sure you follow, like, social media and also the Little Elm Police Officer Association. They do amazing work out here. Um, everyone out there is really great. So, Brandon. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, lastly, we have our best in show, and this one took it by a landslide. And quite frankly, I feel like he deserves it. So we have number 42, Mr. Tom Weaven. <laughs> 